and welcome to Vinnie Bourne Training. In this video we're going to show you how to convert uh, a Q-Tech sprayer from, if you like, a uh, suction feed into a gravity feed. Uh, we're also going to put a gauge onto it as well so we can gauge the pressure. This can be very important if you're doing fine work or if you're using two component paints where the paint is quite expensive and when you put it, change it to a gravity feed you're going to use a little bit, slightly little less sort of energy to, to work it but also you can see how much paint is in the, uh, in the hopper, if you like. Um, by installing a gauge, we, we can fine tune it down. So if you're doing fairly, fairly big jobs and all that, you can, you can wind out how much pressure you need, uh, and you can sort of calculate on how much paint you're going to use for the entire job. So it can make your machine a little bit more intelligent. Okay, so we're going to install a pressure gauge that's going to allow us to know what pressure we're spraying at. Okay, now we're going to attach the hopper and the priming tube. The last little component we need to put on is the, uh, the priming tube. So I've just disconnected the screw from it, it just untreads. Put a bit of PTFE tape on there. Nip it up with a spanner. So it'll cut out in the lid. Voila. So that's fully modified to a gravity system. If you have any further questions, please contact an advisor at vinnieborn.com or alternatively email sales at vinnieborn.com.